basket some time ago and we decided to do the list of things that we did and things that we need to do I am a little surprised a good surprise because it's not uh, beautiful no, it's no, no, it's beautiful because our our friend is here just looking at, at to me and, and talking like a... It's a good list because the number of things that we need to do is smaller than the list of things that we, do, we did. The first thing that we did was we repaired various parts of the deck we repaired the root inside on the bowl. We redid the wooden cockpit frames in the front of the deck. Replacement of entire lining and lining insulation. Alteration of the lining of the midship quarter that was low. The midship liner was really different here in the, the, this room, okay? The liner was here. Almost, if you can see in my head, we remove the original one and change as we have on the kitchen. Means now we have much more space and I will not have problem with my head here. I miss some parts here. Try to open all the rows on the deck that we will put screws on the wood and treat with epoxy. We install reinforcements to the cams. We change the base of anchor. It's now it's bigger, more reinforcement and with a good space to two anchors. We installed two heads in two toilets. We made a dead wood to the keel and after we wrapped with a fiber fiber epoxy. epoxy to protect everything so now it's completely sealed, sealed. oh <laughs> who and deck painting twice we clean it reinstalled all the wretches i think i can't remember is if it's nine i think Eleven. it's did a work on a rudder with a treatment to corrosion and painting everything again Anchor wrench repaired right now and painted. We reformed the anchor chain. We sent to a galvanize. Alvin has an uh, amazing project to put the chain. It's inside a wall in the um, toilet, almost in the middle of the boat. And we sealed this with a box again and changed the tube of the chain to have a better drop because sometimes the chain just you know painted with a new epoxy painting the toilets we removed mess main and mezzanine we rebuilt the mezzanine mast and repaired the main mess some pieces of root and wood and things like that we repair water tank one of them that was leaking mm. now we have a new table Split because the first one is only open completely. I start to remove the old finishing to the floor. I did a treatment with epoxy over the wood to install the new finishing. To install the new toilet, electric toilet, we needed to change a little bit the space and create a new space to install the, the toilet. We decided to install the platform, new platform, so didn't make sense anymore. The three portholes of the stern, so we close. We clean and seal all the engineer room. 
using some products very very strong I confess that I almost see Bob Marley inside the cabin because it was whoa, smelling very bad but now it's okay New cockpit drain connections whole sockets we close some and open others in other place we started to install the soundproofing the engine cabin but we're not finished yet clean and painting all the engine we install a new one chef seal to and the shaft and the shaft fred put me here because now i need to say all these many words that i can't She's say she's beautiful than me <laughs> <laughs> say with me hydraulic oil pump <laughs> Hydraulic oil pump. New support. New support. Okay. I'm feeling like electronic secretary. Okay, bad news for me. Uh, I was cleaning here the bed to be able to open the tank. The constructor did. They glue the hatches for the tank on the tank, but this is steel tank and not make too much sense for me i think uh to to make sense you need screws here and a gasket here to be safe because glue sometimes with this amount of diesel and the boat shaking the glue can loose and that's a problem i have a diesel leakage on the boat is not a good idea i just find out let me try to show you if you take a look here it's loose look here the glue it's loose means i have a leakage when i started the cabinet the engine cabinet here I did a test because the original tank breather, bather, it's here. I made a test here to see if uh, everything's alright. Just uh, blowing air here with my mouth. And what happened? No pressure at all. And I, I smell old diesel inside the room. Means I have some leakage. And I'm fine out. Well, the good news is I found the place that is leaking air could be a diesel leakage the bad news is the standard system is not safe at all means i need to find out a way to do that and that is not easy because i have some diesel inside well i remove everything but uh, uh some vapor some oil is good on the walls of the tank and this can make a diesel vapor and this can explode means i cannot just weld something here that is impossible right now uh, to do that uh, the safe way is remove the tank and do uh, uh, fulfill with water and do that if i fulfill the uh, steel tank with water i can have corrosion it's almost in impossible to uh, dry, really dry the tank. Then it's not the way. Inside the boat is not easy. I will do tomorrow. We will, I will clean the tank, the both tanks, and I will try to make a plan to have a safe way to close the tank. Oh, we started two new portholes in the midship. We replaced all display support holes, new grey water pipe, we install new heater with more security. The water heater equipment. The original system was placed here. This is an old system and it's not safe. This kind of water heater is something that we call open chamber. An open chamber because the burner is open in the air and the heat exchanger is up on the burner and if you have some gas leakage will flow through the floor 
and accumulate there. If you have a bilge pump turning on, can explode this gas. I install a new one. This is a closed and it's an electronic gas water heater. And it's closed chamber. Uh, the chamber is completely closed. Burner and the, the, the heat exchanger. And you have a, a fan that can blow the air through the, the burner and the heat exchanger and blow out of the boat through the um, exhaust chimney. New base to the tiller tower. We removed and treat propeller shaft bracket. Yeah, in Portuguese you say pé de galinha or chicken foot. <laughs> it's very different name. We removed, treat and reformulate the base of the rudder fitting on the skeg, the rudder. So we put a new design. Cooper epoxy bottom painting. Platform and target installation and it's not ready right now. We took off the Bimini top and we are doing a new one with a new design. We sanding and sealing the cockpit floors, the wood. Oh, this is very cool. We designed new split doors to all the cabinets. So we have much more space right now. New piping and bridging system to diesel tank. We restore all the cleats and sty bits. We restore and install all the guard rail. Fred resizing the new hydraulic piston for the rudder. I have some questions that some friends asked to us. First one, if our plan is to have a, a studio inside, a music studio inside. Yes, that is our plan. We want to have a, a small studio inside, able to record uh, guitars, electric guitars, bass, vocals and small instruments. I'm not sure exactly the, uh, the location of the studio. The good thing is the boat is something that we call dry have no, almost no reverberation inside, no reverb, means the, the sound comes really dry. You look here when I go to this place, that I have the steel tank, I have a reverb, because the tank, because the tank is here open, when I close with the, the wood, we will dry again, but uh, I have a reverb inside, and when you record, you don't want reverb uh, <clears throat> to mess with your vocals or acoustic guitar guitars or things like that. You want control on the production. Now, the list with things to do, shorter at least. Finish diesel line, make engine installations, electrical and etc. Make new motor pulley system. Sorry, my English. Another thing that we are working on is the engine belt. The engine have a, a standard V belt, okay? And now I am changing, let me show you here. I don't know if you can see. It's a Mood V belt. Uh, this work much better. This, this piece here, it's the coupling of the hydraulic pump for the winch. The winch. This is a huge winch. This is part of the winch. I need finish. Finish the motor sound insulation. Finish winch coupling. Install winch. Finalize toilet electrical piping installation. Make a new electrical panel. System change to 24 volts and Freddy will explain about it, why we choosing this. I start to build the battery support that is here, okay. The batteries have been started down the floor here and we have a lot of equipment to install, inverters, Solar controller, if you remember these two, Duca from Odd gave to me. Voltage regulator and 
a challenge. A friend <coughs> from a sailboat, uh, Rapunzel, his name is Alexandre, gave to us this autopilot. It's my challenge not right now, make this auto autopilot works and work on the boat. I have some challenges because for this size of boat, the driver is not enough for the hydraulic pump. Then I need to build another drive to have enough uh, amperage to drive the hydraulic pump driver. Installation chimney heater, finalized platform and targa, redo heating piping, vanishing of doors and table, redo living room floor base, finalized new floor finish, it's a lot of floor. Make and install the new beaming, rinse out all deck parts, you will see, it's a lot of peace. Make and finish a support to a style baby, inside. Freddy will show and explain our idea. Install the masts, mezzanine and main. Install navigation lights and everything. Install styles. Install solar panels and controls. Installation of new battery and board controls. Hydraulic system installation of rudder. Tower, panel and tiller installation. Install new faucet. Install wood and wallpaper waterproof. Install the new bilge pumps. Install basic electric equipment. <laughs> we don't have a lot right now. <laughs> but in the future, I think we can buy <laughs> one by one. <laughs> right now, I think we just have radio. Install non-sleep deck flooring. New sails. It's not new because we don't have sails. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh, we have super short, it's like big guy trying to use my pants. Make a lace jack. Make and install internal wood trim portholes, cockpit door to finish the painting, and painting polish. Another question some, some friends ask to us is uh, our plan if you uh, we plan just to be on the marina or we want to travel through brazil or we want to travel through the world and our plan is not be here <laughs> uh, i'm here less well i'm here since i'm born and i know many places on our coast uh, we want to uh, uh, travel through the Brazilian coast a little bit but uh, our main plan is uh, when the boat is ready we are with all tested and all working well go to first first Holland uh, Norway Scotland Iceland things like that cold places the boat is uh, prepared to cold places Soon I start to work on the tank, I heard a really interesting reverb on the tank. Uh, I don't know if it's the size of the, the chambers or the steel plates, because uh, reverb have a lot of techniques to, to, uh, to build a, a good reverb. Uh, springs is one way, uh, plates is on one way, Still is not uh, an unusual plate reverb. Uh, chambers is another one. And uh, it's, it's, it's strange, but uh, it's interesting. That's the dry song through my cell phone. Just you singing. It's my cell phone. Here. Nice. Let us see on the on the tank. The reverb that we are using this song, Sadness Becomes So Real, uh, is completely different. That the first that is the first time that uh, I'm using this kind of reverb. This reverb emulates 
uh, many different natural reverbs like uh, uh, cathedrals, uh, church, big studio reverbs and many things, caves, uh, it's really interesting and I'm using a cathedral on uh, Iceland beautiful reverb let me show you here I have the Carlos drive vocal with the second and the first and the second singing of two do you sing it two parts on this chorus let me show you this is the drive vocal take me back to the light across the blue blue sky okay let me show you now with the reverb is here you can see that take me back into the light across the blue blue sky you can see the space of this reverb it's amazing, amazing. That's it, the reverb that the, the diesel tank there made me remember a little bit. Uh, this is much longer uh, we have uh, here on the diesel tank. It's a nice reverb, but it's a short reverb, uh, but it's nice. Well, right now we have a small problem. My computer music computer is crashing all the time first because the memory is too low and it's not working well and uh, thermal grease of the processor uh, is dry and the processor is uh, working too hot um, I want to thank you our patrons really thank you guys uh, you are helping a lot with this income I'm able to buy the new memory and upgrade the memory and I can change the, the thermal grease and get the, the, the computer working again. It's not a new computer, it's an old computer, uh, I think it's 12 years old, but still working well. I just need to uh, do this upgrade and fix this problem and then the computer will be working again. Patrons, thank you so much. Uh, this will help a lot. Uh, you guys cannot imagine how much.